and welcome to TTF Tech Tip Friday. I'm your host, Kurt Staley, that plastics guy. And I can officially welcome you to the number one rated plastics industry podcast. Couldn't have done it without you and your support, and I am so very thankful for it. I promise to keep the content coming. And speaking of content, today we're going to continue with our series on physical property characteristics of plastics. And we're going to focus on FlexMod, properly known as Flexural Modulus. Well, what is it? My favorite analogy is to think about something like an airplane wing. Well, once affixed to the airplane, it looks pretty rigid and unmovable, or immovable, I guess would be grammatically correct. But if you've ever flown and watched a wing when it encounters turbulence, you'll see that wing move somewhat. So there's ductility there. The wing can move in response to a force, the air coming at it at high speed, and not come apart. It is firm, but it's not immovable. There's ductility there. And think of flex mod as a measure of the ductility in a material that may appear to be, well, quite rigid. Maybe think of nylon 6.6 with a glass content. You're not going to move that. Well, guess what? You can actually deflect it. And flex mod is measured by, first of all, molding a specimen bar to ASTM specifications. And most labs or compounders with their own lab you know, on site will have a tool specifically to mold ASTM test bars. And there is one specifically for flex mod testing. It's of a certain length, typically an eighth of an inch thick and a certain width. This bar, once it's removed from uh, the sprue, is put into a flex machine, a flex mod testing machine, an apparatus that will apply a pressure downward, typically to the middle of that test bar. And the machine measures how much force is required. And there will be a certain deflection criteria, and that will be per the ASTM test method, which I'm not going to quote here. You can look that up yourself if you're interested. So the flex mod number that we see expressed either in PSI, uh, so you might see a number like 380,000 PSI, that is an equation, the result of an equation, I'll get to that in a moment, or perhaps a smaller number, um, 3,600 MPA, and capital M, capital P, small a, that's megapascals, and it's measuring essentially the same thing, the, the deflection force. And the flex mod equation, and I'm referring to show notes, is a function of the length of the test bar, the distance covered uh, by the force being applied, so it's measuring the deflection, uh, the actual load being applied, the weight, um, the width of the bar, and the height of the bar. Again, if you'd like to look at omnexus.com and look up the flex mod calculation, you can see the equation. But that's really what it is. It's a measure of deflection, which equates to the strength or the rigidity of the material. The higher the number, the more rigid the material. Depending on your application, that's exactly what you want. Or you may find for your application you need something that has a tremendous amount of give into it. Well, that's for you and your engineering team to figure out. But that's FlexMod. That's Tech Tip Friday. Take it. Use it today. Enjoy the rest of your day and your weekend. And we will talk to you next week. Thanks. Take care. Bye for now.